Okay boys and girls, welcome back. This is part four in the TikTok video series and in this video we're going to introduce a, a new concept to the bot. Um, just before we get into that, I just want to give the normal plugs. If you haven't already done so, then click the link in the description to go to thebotempire.com. Check out the free resources and check out the course that's there. And if you need a template or bot created, then uh, head over to the site, as I said, and check out all the details there. Okay, with that being said, let's get on with the meat of the video. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to add another concept, which is called the blacklist. Now, uh, what that entails is that we're going to make sure that we never scrape the same set, of, the same URL more than once. Hence the name blacklist. Okay, this um, series is going to be extended as well, guys. Um, this is video four. I did say that will be it, but there's more to teach you. So there's going to be another video after this one. Okay, so guys, what we what I've done here is I've added a resource called the blacklist, and all the blacklist is is a lines from file resource. Um, that's it. Now I'm going to hit record and go over to the script editor. I've just pointed the bot to um, a blank uh, text file that's called blacklist, and everything else is the same as before. Um, the usernames, where to save them, or the links I should say, and how many pages to scroll through. Okay, so just going to start the script editor. With the template, the link is in the, the description. Okay, anything new I've highlighted in green. Just before we get started guys, in the last video I made a very slight mistake. <clears throat> Oops, um, I'm not sure if you spotted it, hopefully you did. Um, I've put it in pink in the new template. What happened is I forgot to put the down arrow back, which is less than. So it's the load counter. If the load counter is less than how many pages, then perform the action. So I've just <laughs> edited that and put it in a template. Hopefully you spotted that when you were going through the last video template. If so, well done, congratulations. If not, then the template has been edited. Okay, so as I was saying, um, all new stuff, all new changes to, to the template have been uh, put in green. Okay, so what we've done is where it says, res um, the first thing that we've done, sorry, is we've made a new resource to list, okay? So what that is, if you come down to resources here, and then you click resource to list somewhere, resource to list, basically uh, what that does is put all the res resource material into a nice little list. So that's, um, to start with, is a blank list, which is called a uh, blacklist. But what happens is as we find new URLs, they're added and saved to the blacklist. So the next time that we run the bot, it's going to check against this list. And if the new URL that we find is in the blacklist, then it's going to skip over it. And that will become more clear as we go through the template. So everything else here is the same as the last uh, video. The script is the same until we get to here. Okay, so what happens is the blacklist is made, we run through, we load the TikTok trending section, and then we start our loop. But here, what we do is, um, once we pick up a link, okay, the best way is to actually show you, of course. Okay, let's just come through here. Let's just make sure that the blacklist that I made is actually clear as well. Um, let's come up here. Um, and of course demos and then the blacklist yeah as suspected I've been testing out the bot okay so then let's just carry on um, wait for the page load okay we've got let me just make this bigger so that you can see we just come through here so what we're doing here is we're coming to the first um, option as before, the first link that we want to pick up, okay? And what we're saying here is link URL, so the one that we just scraped, which is this one here, is it in our blacklist? So how we did that is we can come to uh, lists, um, find it here, list, and then it, we can find the contains option. 
So what we, what the options are here is which list do we want to deal with? Well, in this list, um, in this op, uh, in this case, we want to deal with the list called blacklist that we made up the top here, and we put the resource into a list. Okay, what value do we want to check? Well, we want to check the new link that we just uh, scraped, so link URL. And then what do we want to call the variable that's either going to be true or false? True meaning that URL is already in the blacklist and false meaning it's not. The standard is list contains, but you can change it to whatever you want. So what that looks like in the script is this blacklist as list, which is our blacklist. Link URL that we just scraped and is it in the, uh, sorry, and then to, it's either going to be true or false if it's in the list or not. So in other words, take the URL we just scraped, which will be the profile URL of this guy here, okay? Um, check it against the URL list, blacklist as list. Is it in there? If so, list contains variable is true. If not, then it equals false, okay? Then we have an if statement. If um, that, it, uh, sorry, <laughs> getting tongue tied this morning. If that link, is in the blacklist and equals tr so that would be true so if list contains variable is true okay so let's check if that's the case let's find it here um, link contains equals true okay so it is true in this case uh, sorry for, uh, right there so contains if link equals this can train equals true. No, so it's not in there already. So it should be false. Change equals true. Why is it true? Why? Ah, because we, um, okay, we need to restart the box because I delete the stuff from the blacklist during the video. Okay, let's start again. Okay, let's go through this. Okay. Go for our loop. Now, if should be false this time, let's have a look. Yep, this contains false. What happened, guys? Remember, I deleted the contents from the blacklist, but we'd already started the bot, so it had already put the resource into a list. Okay, so. We've grabbed this, this girl who is standing on this guy's shoulders and probably getting millions of views, strange. Okay, um, we've took that URL and we're saying, is that URL already in our blacklist? Well, it's gonna be false because our blacklist is empty. Okay, so it's gonna skip over the true and it's gonna come over to the else because it's false. Now, if it was already in the list, then it's gonna run here and just log out the URL is in the blacklist, um, skipping and moving on, and then it would go on to the next, next one in our loop. Okay, but because it's not, because it's not already found, it's adding the link to the list of usernames. Okay, and then it's going to log the link out, and then it's going to remove the duplicates from from the list. Okay, just like that, and then it's going to go through the next set, and then the next set. Um, okay, so next, and it's going to check this one next, and so on and so forth. And what happens after it's run through all these, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, what it's going to do down here, which is our final part that's been added on, when it goes to add each one of the usernames um, to a file, like before from the last previous video, it adds all the usernames to a file, okay, and saves them. Now what happens, it also adds the same usernames, the ones that haven't been seen before, into a file called blacklist, okay? So then that saves, okay? Which is essentially the same list as the usernames one, but I've just kept them separate just so you can uh, understand the concept, okay? So once they're on the blacklist, the next time that you run this bot, okay? The resource is going to load the blacklist, the text file is going to load into a list, and then when it runs through this again, 
it would have seen the uh, URL before and it's just going to run this command instead of saving it. So in other words guys, this is going to make sure that you don't um, save the same URL more than once. Now this can be used obviously in TikTok, but this can be used for any bot that you're making that includes scraping. So if you're scraping a website, if you're scraping usernames, or whatever the case may be, you can use this because you don't want to copy the same data twice, obviously to your database or your text files. So in real life, so to speak, if I run this, okay, so a quick preview, quick sample. Let's give that a second to load. There you go, we can see all the beautiful URLs are being added to our username list. All these great TikTok veterans. Okay, just let that run. I've only put it on to scrape one page, so it shouldn't take too long. Let that run. So I hope you get the concept here, guys. Basically, every time that we save a URL um, to our list of URLs, um, we also save it to a separate file called blacklist. So the next time that we run the bot to scrape URLs, it's gonna check each URL that we scrape against our blacklist. And if that URL is already in there, then it's not gonna save it. It's just gonna give us a, a message and say, hey, I've already seen this URL before. I'm not saving it and it's going to move on to the next one and as i said guys this can be using all your bots anyone that, um, that you're using scraping with so that's done now guys we've got all these beautiful usernames saved to our username uh, text file now if i just make this a bit bigger so you can see and then i'm going to run again okay the same page now let's see what happens and hopefully hopefully <laughs> It's gonna have already have seen most of these or all of them. There you go. See this URL is in the blacklist, skipping and moving on. There was a new one in there. Look, there we go. But all the rest of these have been seen before in our previous run, and it's just gonna skip them over them and go to the next URL. Okay, guys. I hope this is um, clear to you. This can be used, as I said, in any bot where you scrape data, be it usernames, URLs. Um, yeah. So it's a really useful concept. Okay, guys. Download the template, have a look for yourself, and I hope you find it useful, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.